Good morning. Lucky bastards. Guess what I found? More PS2 games. Oh, thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah. It's, uh... The first one I found was Kato Legends Part 1. Now, let's get the first thing uh, out of the way. The, uh... The Tato Legends. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but Tato made uh, Chase HQ, didn't they? So why isn't Chase HQ on them? Uh, it comes with something called the art card, which is a postcard of a game I don't really like. Uh, New Zealand story. There you go. Proper boot their quality for you there, mate. And, uh, yeah, before you say, you lazy bastard, it's actually 8.30. So, 8.30 is pretty early for a retired person to wake up. If the display appear correctly and in colour, then your TV supports you. That's slightly better. Just so you get the uh, light and noise there. Techno music, I hate it. So here we go, Tato Legends, uh, Battle Shop, Bubble Bubble, never heard of Colony 7. We have Continental Circus, no Chase HQ because they're in alphabetical order. Well that's just fucking shit mate. Jungle Hunt, that's Atari isn't it? No, yeah they've got New Zealand Story. Ah fuck off. Operation Cocksucker. Fucking Phoenix it is then mate. Let's see if it, with these uh, PS2 controllers it plays as good as the old uh, VCS with a zip stick or Eagle Empire with a zip stick or anything with a zip stick. I think they're doing some sort of uh, filter effect because it doesn't look as sharp. Even that or my TV's got fucked overnight. Classic, sounds like a BBC micro, so you should play Eagle Empire on the BBC maybe. How'd you fucking do this? Ah, oh, there we go. Just so you know. Any Come on. My oh, stupid eyes haven't woken up yet. All because the fucking government won't give me the injection in the eyes, isn't it, dirty bastards? It's just like post-World War II, isn't it? Americans living it up, and Britain a fucking uh, chav country on benefits. A proud country, but very austere. And we don't get, we don't get those uh, injections unless you're fucking 70 or something. Fuck off. I'm not going to do my eyesight when I'm 70. You're practically dead when you're 70. It's a bad investment. Oh no. Oh come on. Yeah, these are really tricky. Because uh, they move at different rates. There's acceleration to their movement. I haven't played it for so long. There. 
there we go. Mother Dick Ahoy. No, we're not going to do that. Ooh, that was easy. My favourite tune that is. Fur and the leaves. <clears throat> Got it on my telephone. Landline of course. Fucking mobile. Swipe, swipe your trip. Uh, got it on my musical doorbell, which sounds like a Coleco vision. <laughs> it's a classic, mate. Obviously wireless, because everything's got to be wireless. There's also on a Jet Set Willy 2, which I believe is officially called the Unbothered version. Yeah, luckily I only paid a few quid for this, otherwise I'd be pissed off, mate. If I paid 40 quid for this, I'd be like, what's all these shit games? Where's Chase HQ, you bastard? Yeah, I remember trying to make these graphics on, uh, on my C64, I think. I was doing it with texty graphics, this is like a bit of a I was going to do the user defined graphics later, but when they explode, it was like uh, the brackets, left and right brackets, moving away from the centre and the star in the middle of the explosion. I'm a genius, yes sir. reason I have the lighter in my hand so that's fucked. Next, it's all right if you're insanely fanatical about Phoenix and £40 is good, 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 good. Yes, quit. Quit to C64 basic so I can write it. Yeah, that's quite an important difference. I fucking uh, change the music. Can't get rid of the music, so I'm sorry, mate. It's a bit lagging. However, I also found uh, another game uh, by Codemasters, I think it is. It's called Downhill Domination. And uh, it's basically BMX uh, racers done properly on PS2 going down the hill. Now we all rode our bikes down a big grassy hill in the park. I used to have a rally striker when I was a kid and I got the maximum enjoyment you could get out of that. I used to build enormous ramps and I'd jump these ramps, must have jumped like eight foot and um, probably about four or five foot in the air on this tiny little rally striker. It was like a mini BMX before it was a thing. Yes, mate, the British invented it. So, um, I don't really recognize all these games. I'm not gonna play Space Invaders. You can go and play that. Everyone can play Space Invaders. So basically, uh, let's have a look at Colony 7. It might not be a a shit game, you never know. Is this Demon Attack? Uh, not the Atlantis. ZX Spectrum sound effects. It is, it's like Missile Attack. That's a pure rip-off of Missile Attack. It's sort of like Missile Attack meets uh, City Fighter by Mastertronic on the C64. Which is a game I had. What the hell? Why can't I move anymore? What are they done? 
they break through your shield, that's rubbish, man. Yeah, Atlantis on the VCS is better. What the hell? I still got one gun, you bastard. Next. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to play this now. Get me off that shit music, please. I believe there was actually a Space Invaders tune in the 70s in the charts. You could buy it on vinyl or cassette. Why didn't they have that on here? Why? Yeah, the graphics, they've done something to the graphics because they're not, they're not crisp. So they're obviously doing the uh, high res mode. I oh, know the volume's a bit low in it. The music sounded different to me. If you're an expert on Continental Circus, feel free to quote and tell me. Maybe I'll just remember only the Amiga music. I'm going to use the analog stick for this. Whee! Yeah, a feature you'll notice on uh, Tato racing games is the cars are sort of sellotaped to the track. And that's what I don't like about this game. One hit and you're fucked. Really? It's like the extreme opposite of uh, Lotus uh, Challenge, the original one on the Amiga. I will pit him. Where's the fucking bag? Yeah, see, that's the thing. You should never worry about pitting him. Because basically... It's just going to fucking uh, kill you anyway. There's a funny scratch. Yeah, look, there's a fucking pit. Fuck you, mate. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Sorry, uh, Tato, without Chase HQ is shit. It's a glorified uh, demon driver by Palitoid. That's becoming a theme. Now, for fuck's sake... This is not an enjoyable experience. Jeez, it's terrible. Funny how a fire extinguisher can fit all, fix all that damage, isn't it? Fuck, you know, what kind of pit exit is that? I could do a, a David Coulthard and crash into the barriers. Yeah, you can use your gears for uh, maximum deceleration, like that, see? In a way, you don't want to take any chances because the game is not really designed that well. Yeah, so without Chase HQ, is shit. Why is that ugly bird with massive thighs in a bikini sweating so profusely? Continue. No. I've seen enough. So yeah, have I still got the price sticker on this one? Fuck, you know, I paid five quid for this, bruv. I got screwed. Yeah, so here we go. Downhill domination. Can't tell if it's Codemasters or not, because the uh, £2.50 sticker is still on it. There you go. You can, yeah, there you go, see. It is Codemasters, it's on the, uh, it's on the DVD. There you go, look, Codemasters, nice and black. It's a great camera. These are terrible ways to use it. Reset City. Time for a bit more of my espresso. A 
What's wrong with this country, man? What is wrong with this country? Since 1980, that's 40 fucking years, we haven't had a decent politician to come along and sort out the finances in this country. If the money is running out to cure people who are going to die, then clearly you're not taxing the fucking millionaires enough, are you? Goddamn assholes. How stupid are these politicians? Or should I say greedy? Because no, we can't do that. Then we won't get our back shots from the uh, mega corporations, as Judge Dredd would call them.